One little sea turtle's journey to the ocean captivated the attention of several Coastal Carolina University students to start this week. That was like the most amazing thing that has happened to me in a long time. What I really want to do with my life is go out and help and save the sea turtles. So today was just the first experience that I got to do it. Senior Kayla Hall played a key role in this. That is so like unbelievably amazing, just being able to help a little turtle, like a little loggerhead, get to the water. This nest was laid on Wednesday, June 27. Each summer and fall, coastal students help monitor Wadey's Island, part of which is owned by CCU, for sea turtle activity. And it emerged on day 58. Pretty classic. Today we had a uh, sea turtle nest inventory. Once the uh, nest has hatched, we go back uh, three days later and we dig up the nest. The idea with the inventory is to check the production of each nest. We're counting the eggs to see what our success rate was. Most nests only have maybe 100. This one had well over 100, and over 100 of the eggs did hatch. So that's a really good positive number. Gathering the numbers isn't done simply out of curiosity, but as actual scientific research. All of our data is uh, included in the international database. We are collecting this data for South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. So cute. As was seen earlier, however, this inventory wasn't only eggs and shells. We actually found a live one and we got to help them to the sea. Kayla Hall actually pulled the hatchling from the nest. I was sitting there digging, getting up the eggs, and then I was just like, what is that? Like this little brown thing. I was like, is it a piece of trash? I was like, it started moving. I was like, oh my God. So like I scooped it and I was like, what do I do? What you do in that situation is place the turtle on the sand between the nest and the ocean. We wanted to have the turtle uh, actually make its way to the water on its own. The trek to the ocean is a type of imprinting on the animal and uh, could play a role later if it's a female coming back to nest. It's not that unusual to find a live hatchling in a nest. A lot of people just see the videos of it, and we're actually seeing it in person, getting to see that little turtle walk to the beach. This is something that will stay with these students forever. Regardless of whether a live hatchling is found, being involved in work such as this is beneficial for students. We actually do, as like science people, we actually get to see that research getting done. Coastal is really, really helpful with the hands-on experience, and it gives you an experience like no other college. The experience coming out to Wadey's Island and being able to see things firsthand, it's invaluable. Sea turtles laid 14 nests on Wadey's Island this summer. There are eight more inventories to go, with the next one just a couple of days away. This makes waking up super early worth it, like 110%, like I'll be back Thursday. <laughs> They're coming back out on Thursday and I already want to come back and do an inventory every time I can. It's probable that even more coastal students will be a part of the inventories that lie ahead. Once they see photos from each other, word spreads pretty quickly. So I have a feeling we'll be maxing out with Sea Turtle Club uh, participants on the next few inventories.